distracting to all of us. Hi guys, welcome to our team call. I'm so excited to have you guys on our team call Tuesday. Um, tonight we have a great topic we're going to cover. I'm going to cover a couple announcements first thing so we can get started. Um, let's, so let's rock and roll. First things first, Wall of 500. Um, our current number on the Wall of 500 is 164 people. Um, so if you're new to the team, our Wall of 500 is if somebody messages you, it says something to you in person, sends you a text, and tells you that their life has improved in some way, shape, or form because of Beachbody or you being a part of their life, they get added to the Wall of 500 as well as you. So our goal is to try to change 500 lives and not just sell them a challenge pack because anybody could do that. I'm sure Siren could even do that. Like we want to actually truly make an, like an impact in somebody else's life. So, um, oh good, so if we make sure to share those on the team page. Um, that's awesome, we'll add to that. So it's gonna be more than 164. And I haven't added um, the two of Allison's that she shared today too, so it's actually more than 164. So cool guys. Um, also make sure you share it in the team page or if it's something personal, like Emily had a couple people that sent her messages that were kind of um, a little uncomfortable maybe for them to share in public on our page. Uh, feel free to message those to me and I'll add them to the wall too. So let's give a shout out to all the coaches on our team this week that added coaches to this family. Tina, Allison, Kate, Nina, Kristen, Emily, and Savannah. Savannah, I may not be saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Um, all of them added coaches to, this, to the team this week. Some of them added more than one coach. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much for spreading this and sharing this message of Beachbody with other people. The more people that we add to the team, the bigger our family grows, the more domino effect we get to create. So great work to you guys reaching out and adding to our family. Um, I wanna give a shout out for Success Club this month. So we have a couple coaches that have already hit it. Um, big shout out to Kate Morris who has already hit Success Club 10 this month. Go ahead girl, that is awesome, fantastic. Um, I also have Morgan Plummer, Julianne Dieter, Tina Fraley, Meredith Denton, Karina Nelson, Allison Rivas, and Michelle Curl, all of which who have hit Success Club 5 already this month. Shout out to you guys. Great work. Keep pushing. Success Club, I know, is not something we, we don't really focus on Success Club. We focus on changing lives. And the more you focus on changing lives, the more the Success Club points add up and that's a great metric to see growth in your own business so congratulations guys we have um, a million other coaches on the board with points in our downline so keep pushing keep sharing and keep connecting with people you will hit that goal by the end of the month I'm so proud of you guys dates to remember if you have a calendar handy I'm gonna run through some dates for you to write down on your calendar I'm gonna actually just share this date list in the team page too because it's starting to get a little long <laughs> We have a lot of stuff going on in the team, which is great. So the first date to remember is tomorrow. Tomorrow our team t-shirt order is done, cuts off. So if you are ordering a team shirt, a sweatshirt, a coach shirt, a tank top, um, if you're ordering any of those, they have to be in by tomorrow. Cut off date. Last order for the year. So if you haven't gotten your hands on that, make sure you do that. I'll repost in the team page the link if you guys need the link to get any of our apparel. Um, feel free to reach out to me too if you need it for some reason. Tomorrow, deadline, cut off. Um, also coming up, our team photo shoot, October 29th. We still have six spaces open. If you're looking for a space for that, we would love to help you fill that. So shoot me a message. I'll give you all the details for that and get you signed up. Um, November 1st is our Team Spirit kickoff. If you guys are interested in joining our team for Team Spirit, which I've Hope that all of you are. We have to have 20 coaches on our team to be a team in Team Spirit. So any of you that have been with us and done Team Cup, this is kind of like a ginormous <laughs> Team Cup. All of us are on one team. We work together. If you want to know more information about it, I encourage you to go check out the FAQ and get all the details about what Team Spirit is. Um, all of you have access to that. You can go look at it in your online office under FAQ. I also shared a fantastic video that explains how it works and why you want to be a part of it in our team page about 20 minutes ago. Um, so make sure you check that out. Team Spirit kicks off November 1st. Love for all of you to be a part of it. So Healthy for Life, we can work together and, and get some cool prizes and win some cool stuff. So that's November 1st. November 6th, Team Brunch, 11 a.m., Main Cup, Middletown. 
would love to have you. You don't have to hit Success Club to, to be at brunch. We just love to have a, a monthly time to kind of fellowship, get together and talk about business and life in general and just connect. And November 7th, two things on this team are happening on November 7th. Write them both in your calendar. We are doing a team-wide core to force like test group right in our team page. So we've done this before. We've done a team challenge group. It was a lot of fun. We did selfies every day, right, which we're going to totally do again, and everybody can be in the selfie collage, which was a big deal during our last team challenge group. So November 7th, if you're on the fence about core to force I want you to just take a second and think about the fact that it might not be a program for you, right? I'm not coordinated. I'm not looking forward to this program at all because I lack serious coordination. But one of my clients or one of your clients, this might be the perfect soulmate program for them to finally achieve the goals that they want to achieve. So don't sell it short because it's not the program for you. It could be the program for someone, and maybe you go through 30 days of it just to see what it's like so you can help your clients better understand which program we write for them. So November 7th, team challenge group. We're going to do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. A great way to also, when you're connecting people to Core to Force, maybe have them consider the coaching options so they can be a part of our team challenge. And last but not least, on the 7th, um, that is going to be the kickoff of our next day in the life coach sneak peek group. So that'll be the first full week in November. We'll go through Monday through Friday for that group as well. So lots of deeds, lots of good stuff going on, lots of things and people that we can help, lots of good stuff. So if you need any of those dates, like I said, I'll post all of them in the team page because that was a lot of dates that we have stuff coming up and going on. So um, reminder, team retreat, winter retreat, winter wonderland <laughs> happening in January, January 21st and 22nd. We already have a lot of coaches registered for it. I would love if you're interested in that to make sure you get registered too. I bumped the video this morning that is all about what our team retreat is going to be. So feel free to check that out too. Um, okay. I am going to preach to you guys about something real quick <laughs> because I'm a preacher and that's what I do. I really enjoy, um, preaching what we do as coaches and this amazing life-changing opportunity. So first things first, I'm going to screen share with you guys. Let's do that. Um, okay. Can everybody see this picture here on my screen? It's a golf course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. So today I was on the golf course. Um, I took a mid midday lunch break <laughs> and went golfing. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about this picture. So what you're seeing on the left of this picture is um, you're, we're standing on a fairway, right? We have to make a shot. The shot that we're making um, in front of us where these rocks are is about a 20-foot drop-off, and it's a gully full of rocks and trees. And that flag that you can see out there in the distance, that's where the shot has to go to, okay? On the right-hand side, you're standing in a fairway. You have this nice, flat, I mean, albeit it's dead grass <laughs> in front of you, but it's flat. And out there in the distance, there's a blue flag that you've got to hit the ball to. So two pictures. The yardage on these shots, and I don't care if you golf or not, that, that's irrelevant. This is just a great analogy. Um, the yardage on these two shots is 150 yards. Exact same yardage. The difference between these two shots are what is in front of me what we have to overcome to get our golf ball <laughs> to the actual flag, right? Or to the actual pin. So I want you to think about your business this way. In front of you right now, in your Beachbody business, you have the gully, <laughs> you have the rocks, you have all of these things that are gonna pop up called life, <laughs> that are gonna get in your way, that are going to like help you get off track, that are going to distract you, that are going to make you think twice about how you take the shot and how you get to that end result, because things in your life are going to happen. Things in your life are going to get in your way. Things in your life are going to slow you down, are going to make the shot seem that much more difficult because they're in front of you, right? But that was a picture of two of the same shots that somebody had to take, and the difference is what was in front of them. If you picture every shot that you have to take or every situation in this business, like, you know what? I still need to get to that flag. I still need to get my golf ball to that hole. I still need to get to that pin. And it doesn't matter if it's flat or it's bumpy or there's a gully or there's trees or life happens or circumstances change. The end of the day, 
where that hole and that flag are is my end result. It's me achieving my goals. It's me helping more people. It's me signing up to do this because I wanted to do this for a reason. It's me and my unwavering, like un, like just absolutely unbelievable belief that I could be successful and help people in this business. That's where that golf ball has to go. No matter what's in front of you in this business, I want you to focus on getting your golf ball <laughs> to the hole. There are going to be so many times in this business right now where life's going to happen. You guys, we're coming up on like the three busiest months of everyone's whole year, <laughs> right? Can you already think about it? You're like, oh my God, Christmas is coming. I've seen these countdowns on Facebook. How many Fridays do we have left till the holidays? Like life's going to get really busy over the next couple months. But I can assure you that if you focus on not the fact that there's going to be lots of stuff in the way, but you focus on, you know what, I showed up to work this business and I'm going to keep doing that every day because I want to do that. I know what the end result is and I know where I'm going with my business. Even when life gets crazy or busy or circumstances change or rocks come into your life or trees, you still have to get to the end result. You still have to get to your goals. So please keep in mind during this time of busy season and circumstances changing and life happening that there's a reason that you wanted to be a part of this business. There's a reason that you wanted to grow this and don't let your perception of the shot change what you do. Make sure that you focus on your goal and you focus on building this business and you focus on showing up every day and you focus on making the shot instead of focusing on what's in front of you, just focus on the goal, the end result. The other thing that I want to kind of preach about a little bit tonight is there was a call today, a Beachbody call with um, all the five star diamonds and above that was incredible. I listened to it on one of my car rides and I literally pulled over three times so I could write in this book, <laughs> write my notes down because I was like, oh, I got to say that on our call tonight. Oh, that's great information. So across the company right now, there is a um, decrease in volume, right? The, the volume for overall has gone down because, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for that. The main reason being that we switched to Beachbody On Demand, which doesn't hold as much volume, right, as a Beachbody program if they buy a whole program. But a lot of coaches that have been around for a while wanted to talk about this issue. And I don't believe in us talking about problems. I believe in us talking about solutions. So I listened to this call today, and one of the coaches jumped on and said something really important. So what I want every one of you to do right now, especially if you're doing something else on your computer screen, because I can see it on your face. <laughs> um, I want you to go down to the chat in this, mess, in this conversation right now and write to me the name of the person that told you about this business, that shared this opportunity or this message with you. Write their name in the chat so I can see. Yeah. Kind of neat. Um, so when that person got in front of you and shared the message of Beachbody with you, that changed your life in some way, shape, or form, right? Maybe it wasn't a significant change. Maybe, you know, it just helped you get healthy or it just paid off some of your debt or it just helped improve your marriage or maybe it just helped you some certain things in your life. But that person got in front of you to share the message with you. So now every person on this call has a message that they have to share with somebody else, right? You have a message that you have to get in front of somebody and share because somebody before you did it and somebody brought the message of Beachbody into you. And um, the one quote that the, girl, <laughs> that the girl said today, and I thought, oh man, like this is fantastic, is she said, I don't get to not show up for the message. I have to show up every day to share this message with other people because somebody showed up and shared this message with me. I want you guys to remember that we carry a lot of weight when it comes to this opportunity and how it can help someone else. And it's not, we don't get to decide if this is a great life changing opportunity for them. We get to decide if we show up as a coach every single day and share this with somebody else. That's all we get to decide. But we have to show up and share the message because every name that you just wrote on there, those people showed up to tell you about this, pro this product, this program, this company, this opportunity. Those people showed up. And guess what? You're sitting here on a call tonight because those people showed up and shared this with you. You have to share this with other people. You don't get to not show up. So I want to know whatever it is that you need to be your purpose driven passion for showing up and sharing this message with other people. I could say, hey, Success Club is going to grow your business. 
and hey, you should be a 10 star because there's a really cool bonus that comes with it. And I could tell you that there's a really cool success club trip if you want to go somewhere exotic, but those are all carrots, right? Those are all carrots we're going to just dangle in front of you to be successful. And those are all carrots that each body is saying, like, follow this carrot and it's going to be successful. But what happens when you hit that? Like, I'm somebody that's hit 10 star. When I hit 10 star, it was really cool. And then nothing happened. <laughs> I pushed really hard to hit 10 star, and then it was done. And then I was like, okay, so now what? So instead of us focusing on chasing carrots <laughs> and focusing on things like that, I really want you to focus on the message that somebody shared with you and how you can just share that with somebody else. Why has this changed your life? Why is it important? Why is this something that can help somebody get healthy? And why is this something that is different than everything else out there? If you know why you're doing this and why this business is so important to you, it's going to be so easy for you to put that message in front of every single person you come in contact with. I really want you to think about your goal outside of rank or volume or income. I really want you to focus on why you're doing this every day. Why do you show up? Why are you on this call right now? Why? Why? That's the big question tonight that I want to ask you guys. I know Caitlin's got a whole different topic that's going to help us with all of this. But I just want to know, you have to decide that you are purpose-driven in this business. You have a purpose to be here. You have a purpose to share your message with somebody else. You have to know that in this business to know that there's a lot of cool recognition and shiny objects. But at the end of the day, I want to know that you want to be a part of this because somebody shared this message with you and it changed your life and you're gonna do that for somebody else. So don't focus on the fact that, yeah, there's all this stuff going on in Beachbody and maybe volume's lower, maybe you had a bad week. Just focus on the fact that somebody took the time in their life over the last six months, a year, two years, four years, to say to you, hey, can I tell you about this Beachbody thing? Or hey, you said that you were unhappy and you wanted to get healthy, and I'd like to help you do that. Could I do that with you? Can we do that together? Somebody that you just typed their name did that for you. So make sure that you pay that opportunity forward and you show up every day and share that message with other people. <sighs> All right. <laughs> That's what I have for you guys. I just want you to remember that like, we have an amazing blessing right in our own lap. And it's our, our job to pay that forward and share that with other people every single day. And this team is fantastic at it. But know your purpose. Know why you're here and know why you show up every day because it makes it really easy to talk to other people about when you're very purpose-driven. So tonight on our team call in regards to a purpose driven and focused and time management and making sure that you create your success in this business, my fabulous friend Caitlin Wilson is going to talk to you guys about time management. Her and I <laughs> sat down recently and went through a schedule because let's face it, it's just like meal prep, right? When you plan what you're going to eat, you stick to your plan and you stay on track and you hit your goals. So why not plan? your success in this business by making a schedule and having a plan to be successful. So I'm going to turn this over to the fabulous Caitlin Wilson and let her tell you guys about how you can plan your success in this business. Awesome. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, good deal. Woo, Jenna, I'm fired up. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, so yes, I have the pleasure of talking with you guys tonight about um, scheduling your success and time management. And this is something um, that I will be completely honest with you guys. I have struggled with finding the balance um, with the craziness of life that I think we all um, you know, deal with. We have challenges, we have obstacles, we have things that happen that we don't. And, um, what I was finding myself doing was doing meaningless work or my, my work that I was doing for my business was not productive in the way it should be. It wasn't as efficient as it should be. So um, tonight I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about what I have been doing differently in the past two months that have really helped me, um, but also share with you guys um, some interesting time management tips that I actually got from an article. So um, before I share my slides, I wanted to share a couple of things with you. Um, if you haven't read the book, Eat That Frog, I highly recommend it. It was actually one of the first time management books that I read when I started as a coach. And I've been a coach now for well over three and a half years. So um, I've been a coach for quite some time. And um, that book really helped me understand um, the importance of efficiency and how to 
do kind of those tasks that are always those tasks that we don't want to do. And for me, and maybe for a lot of you, that's maybe connecting, maybe that's inviting and reaching out to people. Uh, maybe it's just something that you're not comfortable with. Um, but so I think for many of us, we, we believe that, and I know for me, time management is about squeezing in more tasks and activities into a day. Um, but what I feel time management is now is about getting those those most important tasks done. And it's, and it's also about learning how to do things efficiently so you can ultimately accomplish more. Um, you know, that saying, working smarter, not harder. So I, I definitely, you know, believe that and think that there are a lot of ways that we can work smarter and not harder to make things more enjoyable. So a couple things, a couple tips for you guys that um, I'll share my slides in a minute, but a couple things. Um, the first one, I think one of the golden rules of time management is to complete your most important tasks first. So I think many of us, um, we have a power hour. You know, that's something that we at least try to, to make a non-negotiable every day because many of us have full-time jobs, we have children, we have after school activities. So um, one of the, the, the most crucial things when it comes to time management is identifying two or three tasks that are most crucial to complete and do those things first. I think that it is something that is really going to be beneficial um, and you'll be able to be more productive throughout the day. Um, let me go ahead and share my slides here and let me know if you can see them. All right, can you guys see that? To view it here. Nope. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm not sure why it's not viewing, but okay, so a couple of things that I have been doing most recently, and, and if you guys don't know this about me, I am a very visual person. I love lists. I have a list just for about everything that I do um, for whatever reason that just really helps me stay focused. It helps me stay organized. So um, one of the tips that I would recommend you guys doing is staying focused. Um, and by doing that, writing down the most important items in your life that you need to stay focused on. And I, and I, I'm, I'm talking not just about your business, but I'm also talking about the other things in life work, kids, chores, everything, because we have all that as well. So, um, and, and find a place where you can keep it. For me, I have a planner for just my business. And I also have a planner for my work and my personal stuff. And I keep them separate uh, for a reason because I, I am trying to stay focused on one task at a time. Um, I'm not sure why this isn't working here. Can you guys see this okay? It's not. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So another thing that I recommend doing when it comes to scheduling your success, and again, I've, I've shared this about writing it down writing down what you have to do each and every day, okay? For me, what I have found, especially in the past few months, if, if my head is full of all of the things that I'm thinking about doing and I don't write what I need to get done down, it won't get done. It's just, it's just a fact. So, you know, it's, it's really important to sit down with all of the ideas and thoughts and things that you have to do in your head, put it in a spiral notebook, put it in your phone, put it in Google Docs, whatever system works for you, and you know, make sure so that you don't for forget about it. If you're working on a task and something else pops into your head, then then you write it down, then, then just write that in there, write it down in a notebook or your phone or whatever, whatever system works for you. Again, I am a pen and paper, paper person, um, but it's, it's all about finding the systems that work for you. You may be somebody that, likes to put everything into your smartphone or likes to put everything into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, it sometimes might be a trial and error where you have to look at a system and see if it's effective for you and your business. Okay, so 
this is something that um, Jenna and I had, um, when we had sat down and talked about scheduling, we, um, I realized I needed to make a daily schedule and I needed to actually set business hours for myself. So um, for, for me, and, and I know for a lot of you, I work full time. Um, so I work full time Monday through Friday. Um, and I also actively work this business because for me, I have um, some pretty big goals to leave my full time job. And I want to make sure that this works, but I'm also still productive at my full time job. So what I had to do was sit down and make concrete business hours and concrete just hours of what my schedule looked like and stick to them. And that was something that I was not doing in the past. I found myself coming home when I should be, when I was, should have been doing the business and I was checking emails from work or I was doing something else, unpacking boxes, moving, you know, so there wasn't, you know, that strict time that I was setting for my business. So let me give you an idea here of what my business example looks like with setting business hours. So Monday, this is, this is actually like a Monday through Friday um, kind of schedule for me. Mondays, um, I am now usually up around five o'clock in the morning. Um, thank you for the Sunrise Success Groups. Those have been extremely helpful for a lot of us in getting up. And um, so Mondays, that morning is the time for me. It's my, it's my time to do my workout to read my personal development, and I have a little bit of time before work to check in to my groups that I'm running. And then from eight to, it's, it ranges five, six, 6.30, it all depends on what's going on in the schedule of my day. That is my time to work, my full-time job. Before, I was trying to um, do beach body. And, and I will say if I can find those pockets of times, maybe it's, it's from 12 to 1230 and, and I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm able to listen to a call or I'm able to listen to the national wake up call recording. I do do that. So it's all about finding those pockets of time if you can. But then in the evening, that is where I focus mostly on my business. Um, one of the things that Jenna and I talked about was still being able to connect with your spouse or your family because I was um, kind of leaving my husband high and dry when I was coming home. We, we both are on opposite schedules. He, or he works um, in Fairfax. So he was coming home and by the time he was home, I was already working. So it, it felt like I needed to at least give myself that hour each and every day to check in with my husband and see how the day was going. I think it's so important that we don't forget about the people that are around us because a lot of our goals and dreams surround those people. So giving myself that hour to check in and have dinner. And then the evening is really my time to um, run, to do the business. So it's my connections, my invites. Um, if, if we have a team call, uh, one-on-ones with my customers and coaches. Um, the, uh, the only other shift and difference um, in my business throughout the week is Wednesday, I have set aside the time to do more face-to-faces and networking events. So often a lot of the networking events that I've been doing happen on Wednesday evenings. So my hours are a little shifted there when it comes to the business. And then finally, most importantly, I would say is giving yourself some time to rejuvenate, recharge. Um, reset for the week. And for me, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't giving myself the time to rest, to give myself family time. And I think that is just as important um, as being proactive and productive in your business. So Sundays, um, I have given myself the day really to just spend the time with my husband and my family. I mean, I do things like meal plan, meal prep, and kind of check in and prepare for the week ahead, but that's really it. Um, so this has really helped me stay on track and the time in the evening, I, I am so more, I'm much more focused and efficient when it comes to those uh, business activities. So that is something that if you are struggling to find the time, it's, it's 
looking at your schedule, it might, it might look similar to this. It might look different, but finding those times that you can definitely get in the time with your business, but giving your, giving yourself that time to reset and recharge as well. Um, another thing that I often struggle with is delegating. And this can be um, delegating in your business, delegating things at work, delegating things at home. Um, I know for me, um, sitting down with my husband and sharing with him the goals that I have for the year, for the month, for what we have is so important because it allows him to be on the same page with me. Um, it allows him to understand what I may have going on that night. Um, so we can talk about our schedule and I encourage you guys to do this with your family um, so that they know that, you know, when is the time that we're going to have movie night? When is the time that we're going to, you know, so that they know that um, where, where you're going to be, but also getting them involved with your goals. Um, let them know what your week looks like and what activities are a must and are most important to you and this business. Um, the other thing that um, I would recommend doing if, if this is something you can do is multitask um, smaller things. So let's say you're cooking dinner, you know, that might be a great time to listen to the national wake up call um, in the kitchen. It might be um, a good time to, you know, listen to personal development. I am somebody, if I'm working out in the basement, I will plug in some Eric Tom, I, you know, I will plug in some personal development. I will listen to things to motivate me and get me started with the day. So you're, you're in a sense multitasking some of the things that you need to do. And it's not, you're still being efficient. You're still able to cook dinner for the family, but also do other things that are related to the business. Okay. Ooh, I talked fast. That was all I had. <laughs> All right, do you guys have um, any questions for me or um, just anything that I had shared that you wanna know a little bit more about about my scheduling and um, business hours? No? no oh, the other thing, good. <laughs> the, actually, I wanted to say one more thing. The other thing that I have been doing, and I shared this with my team this past month, is um, I've been creating a monthly marketing plan. And this is something that um, I got from Melanie Mitro. And this is something that I think allows me to look at my month as a whole and say, okay, I'm, I know I'm running a free group. When am I running that free group? I know I'm running a challenge group this month and just looking at the dates and being able to say, okay, this is when I'm going to post about this challenge group. This is when I'm going to advertise it. Um, and just having that month kind of set forth and I always will do it the month prior. So as we get closer to November, probably the last week, I'll start looking at November and start looking at the, the dates of when I'm going to be running my challenge group, when I'm going to be running um, my free group and just being able to have that plan in place has really been effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's so important because it's really easy for us to show up on social media and be like, and I can't tell you how many calls I have with coaches and they're like, I don't know what to post. <laughs> you know what? If you have a marketing plan, you know when your free group is, you know exactly when you should be making posts that are kind of around that and when your coach sneak peek is and when you can make posts around that. So what um, Caitlin and I actually did, you guys, was I printed out <laughs> I printed out calendars and I was like, this is Caitlin and Jenna's BA marketing plan and we're going to be amazing for the next three months and wrote on it like, okay, this is when we make the jab on Facebook for our, you know, the clean eating group that's coming up in two weeks. And this is when we make the post about the business opportunity for the day in the life group that's coming up in a week and a half. Um, and you can literally just write it all out. So when you wake up in the morning, you can look at your calendar and be like, oh, you know what? I don't need to figure out what I need to post. I need to post about this group that we have coming up because I already have the marketing plan to do so. And guess what? I already have in my schedule. Today I'm going to work for two hours during this time. So then I can make that post. So it's just, really like Caitlin nailed it just sitting down and figuring out an actual plan for your business because too many of us I'm so guilty of this so I'll be the first one to admit it too many of us 
don't treat this business like a business in that if you didn't show up for work one day you'd get fired <laughs> if you didn't call your boss like so one of the things that I want to challenge you to do on this call tonight um, is to fire yourself fire yourself tonight <laughs> fire yourself figure out exactly what you want to be in your business what kind of person would you hire to be a coach in your business what would your hours be for that person that you'd hire to be a coach in your business and be that person rehire yourself in your business and be your best employee be the best person to show up in that business for yourself because so many of us are like oh well it only cost me forty dollars to sign up so it's not really like my business it's just sort of like my hobby <laughs> or I just really like to work out and it'd be fun to get a discount but you know what you say then that you want to build a business so if we want to build businesses and we want to you know create financial freedom and do really cool things for our families Treat the business like a business. Set business hours. Plan to be present during those business hours. Plan to be present with your family during the hours that you plan to be present with your family. It's going to make you better, it's gonna make your business better, and it's gonna make your relationships with your family and the people you're doing this to help support and give that freedom to, it's gonna make all that better. So do that for yourself, and if you need to, Reach out to your coach. Caitlin and I sat down over champagne, because y'all know that's what we do. I sat down over glasses of champagne and said, let's hammer this out. Let's look at your schedule. Let's figure it out. And one of the first things that we talked about was, when are you spending time with your husband? <laughs> because this business is really cool, but you're doing this business to make a better life for you and your husband. So why are you not spending a lot of time with him? And you know what else we figured out by her and I sitting down and doing this? And Caitlin, I hope you don't mind that I'm hearing about our meeting. But we figured out that Caitlin was burnt out. Caitlin had been working and working and working and working and working and wasn't seeing the results because it wasn't focused, solid, dedicated work hours. It was, I'm going to work on Facebook for a few minutes. Oh, but we just bought a brand new house and there's two boxes that I actually have my laptop sitting on top of right now that maybe I could put away. <laughs> and then you get lost in that. So you're not doing focused work. And then you're not present for your business. You're not present for putting away all the stuff you have to in your new house. So doing those focused business hours make you more productive so that you actually are growing a business in less time. And it's really important that we make sure that we're staying focused on our business when we're working on it and we're staying present with our kids when we're present with our kids. Um, because we don't want a business where we're like this the whole time. Sure honey, whatever, <laughs> you know, like, that's not fair. And you want to build this business for whatever reason your why is, so be, be, like, honor that. And know that it's okay if you work only 14 hours, but those 14 hours you work really hard, so those 40 hours you get to hang out with your kids, or you get to hang out with your spouse, or you get to take an afternoon off and go spend four hours on the golf course and not freak out about it. You know, like, make sure that the focused business hours you're working are that so that you can have that freedom that you want create that for yourself be strict with your time your time is valuable it's not something you ever get back so be strict with it be focused with it and schedule it reach out to your coach and say you know what let's have a glass of wine let's sit down and you help me figure out the schedule because I want to be more productive that's what your coach is there for I'm here Caitlin's there regardless if you're a part of our, our wherever in the organization we'd be happy to help you try to figure it out because the end of the day we all want to be successful in this right we want to get better so Caitlin thank you so much for sharing a nice little look into what your schedule looks like it's great too because Caitlin's a full-time uh, she's still working full-time so she's somebody that's showing you you can make a great business while still working a full-time job as well and that's great that you were able to show us how you're making it all work Caitlin so thank you for that sneak peek into your life and your schedule thank you guys so much for jumping on this call tonight taking the time in your schedule to be here tonight and to be a part of our call. I'm so excited for the speaker we have on our call next week. Make sure that you log in next Tuesday, 8 p.m. If you need anything between now and then, don't hesitate to use our team page and just keep making an impact, guys. You're doing fantastic things. Schedule your time. Be important, like make it important to do everything in your schedule the way that you're going to do it. Make sure that time becomes a priority that you organize and that you plan because that's how we get better. Have a great night, guys. Thanks so much.